In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Dear friend, good morning, good evening. Hello. Are you happy? I hope that my word, the word of Jesus, will find you happy and will meet you with happiness and bring you good news. Dear friends, you are my friends, but you are more. You are the friends of Jesus, as he used to call his disciples, my friends. In this spirit, in this atmosphere of friendship, through these old talks, I am feeling that we are more and more committed, related to each other, brothers and sisters, friends. And in this atmosphere of friendship, we can go ahead and speak about Jesus, about his gospel. And today, the title of my talk is The Place of the Gospel in Your Life. The gospel's preeminence, very, very high place in your life. The most beautiful place in your life, in your room, in your home, is the gospel. The gospel itself, as a book, has a privileged place expressive of its importance in the church history, services, teachings, and liturgy. The Holy Gospel is the object of the greatest respect among Christian faithful. This is our book and our Jesus as a gospel, not only book, more than book. Good to have the book as such, but really the gospel is Jesus in your home. Not only through the book you have in your room, but through the very deep, deep sense of presence of Jesus in you, in your house, this is the gospel. There is no church celebration, as you know, no service, no sacrament, or community meeting without a reading from the gospel and often from the Acts also of the apostles or epistles of St. Paul and books of other apostles and also of the Old Testament. The word of God is always present in the communities. The gospel book is placed continually, as you know, in the Byzantine tradition on the altar as the living Lord, because the gospel, the, the altar is the place of the resurrection. And having the gospel on the table, on the altar, means that Jesus is living, he is alive, he is the risen Lord on the altar. Wonderful expression, symbol. Through the book of the gospel on the altar, it means Jesus, the risen Lord, is there. This shows the link between the divine liturgy and the church service with the gospel. The gospel is carried, as you know, in procession during the divine liturgy and in other solemn services and saints day. The gospel must always be carried with the great veneration, with solemnity, surrounded by candles, incense, and faithful turn towards it during its reading from altar to know, to address, to have your eyes in the direction where the gospel is carried. So, and you know, the tradition in the Eastern Church to kiss the gospel if they can reach it. When not, they make like that and kiss the gospel from far away. It is wonderful. This sense, deep sense of the presence of the gospel of Jesus between us. Kiss him, even like that. That is very Oriental, very Eastern, but very beautiful tradition. Furthermore, the gospel is the most beautiful present we can present to each other. 
if you have good present for a good occasion, don't be ashamed to present with a gospel. In the family, the homes, in all our meetings, we have the gospel. How beautiful meetings for young people and so on, women, to have the gospel there. It is a sign of the presence of Jesus with us, like in the celebration, also in the meetings in the houses. So, Jesus also in the gospel. Not always, not only to have a place for the gospel, have a place for the gospel, for Jesus who is the gospel. The gospel is a living word. The gospel is a living proclamation. The gospel is ever new. The gospel is this, a discovery. It helps you to give, discover something. Always in you. The gospel is discovery. The gospel is exceeding grace for any need you have. The gospel is a summary of Jesus' teachings. The gospel is a conversation with the humanity, with all <coughs> cultures and languages and tongues. Gospel is always living with us. So be gospel. Bear the gospel. And don't be away from the gospel. It is your gospel. It is written for you, especially. And so I hope you are able to discover again and again in a new way the gospel of Christ, of Jesus in your life. Thank you. Goodbye. God bless you. Oh,